At the Touchdown Club, we try to do everything first class, and you can see uh, we spend a little bit of money, and everybody gets a plaque, and this is why Steve Spurrier put this on his wall, because it's a first class uh, plaque, but uh, that's why we have great sponsors to be able to do things like that. Uh, next, we go to the MVP from UCA, and we're on the, uh, the home stretch for the last few honorees here, folks. Uh, at UCA, I'm glad to have uh, Coach Conk here, who uh, speaks to the Touchdown Club generally about every year. Uh, his MVP is Brent Grimes, running back. His game listed here at 5'9", uh, 196 pounds from Baton Rouge, Louisiana. And I imagine at some point somebody may have told Brent that he maybe was too small to rate, play running back. But when you are the all-time leading scorer at UCA in the Clint Conk offense, that's telling you something. That means that Clint Conk has the confidence and that wild offense to make sure he gets the ball to a guy like Brent Grimes. I was talking with Steve Sullivan, and he said uh, one thing about Brent Grimes, he is money. He Sully calls him pound for pound, the best back in the history of UCA. And, uh, and when you get compliments like that from UCA, uh, and, and also he said played as hard as any player he'd ever seen, uh, that's really a compliment. Let's take a look at some of the video on Brent Grimes, the MVP from UCA. Brent Grimes, Central Arkansas. No UCA back in history was a better big down back than Brent Grimes. This five foot nine inch, 186 pound senior had a knack for picking up first downs and scoring touchdowns. In fact, no bear has scored more points than Brent Grimes. You're looking at the leading scorer in UCA history, 354 points. This first team all Southland Conference selection led the league in rushing this season with 200 carries for 1,222 yards. He also caught 32 passes for 311 yards and was named a third team FCS All-American by the Sports Network. The Little Rock Touchdown Club's UCA Player of the Year is tailback Brent Grimes. Good evening. First, I want to give thanks to Lord and Savior Jesus Christ for allowing me the opportunity to be here tonight. Second, I want to give thanks to the Little Rock Touchdown Club for having me and allowing me to be a part of this event tonight. Thirdly, I want to give a thanks to my lovely parents who are out in the crowd for all their continuous love, support, and encouraging me 200% throughout my entire football career. Fourth, I want to give thanks to the entire UCA family for their support they uh, gave me all throughout my four years. Also, I want to give thanks to my head coach, Coach Clint Kunk, for enabling me the opportunity to be here and uh, be a part of the UCA football program. Last but not least, I want to ask my position coach, Coach Hood Jackson, to stand, please, in the crowd. I want to give a special thanks to my position coach, Coach Hood Jackson, who has played a major role in me becoming a successful college football player. Coach Jackson was more than just, he was more than just a coach. He was a mentor in my life. He was there and provided for me on and off the field and was an integral part of my support system. Knowing that my family was six hours away in Baton Rouge, Louisiana, Coach Hud Jackson accepted me and made me feel welcome by allowing me to be a part of his lovely family. In my opinion, a great coach is not only what he can teach you on the field, but also what he can teach you about life lessons and being a man off the field. And this is why I consider Coach Hud Jackson the greatest football coach I ever played for in my life. And again, I want to thank everyone for allowing me to accept this award tonight. Thank you. Brent, I have a feeling your coach is never going to forget that. Uh, I do want to say something real quick. Uh, thank you for being here tonight. Thank you for cheering for every honoree. You may not know who they are, but uh, they'll remember this night is a great night, and your enthusiasm and your applause makes a, a big difference. Uh, and I'm not so sure we got a group that's more excited and proud of their honoree than our next. 